Okay. So basically what I do is, uh, actually I do them all at the same time, but some of these uh, pins get bent. So there it goes in one. It goes in two. Three. This is the 500 one. This is the 300 one. And then this should be a 700, and it is. And that just, they all plop in there, and then you very carefully flip them. And make sure all the pins are in. And it looks like all the pins are in. It looks like the board is laying flat, which is good. That means that the pins are as far as they can go in. I'm just gonna check my camera. All right, and I'm just gonna start with this uh, left side here. So what I do is I just, I go along the top and uh, I might run out of solder, we'll see. Basically, I'll just go around the top here. And again, I put the, uh, not the tip, but like the flat edge of the iron. You wanna tin your iron with the access, I just dab it a little bit, let it heat up again. But you put you want to put the flat edge of the iron against the pin and the pad, and then from the other side, bring in your solder. So I'm just gonna go down just like that. And you don't want to do too much solder. Um, these these pads are a lot closer together than the terminal pads, so it almost looks like you're going to be uh, shortening them out by putting too much solder in, which uh, I've put a, quite a bit of solder on one of these and they still stick to their own pads, so there's no bridge between the two pins, um, which it really, it, it, I don't know how big of a difference it matter because both these are negative or positive outputs. The only exception is to the three pin side, which one of them is the PWM input which would have uh, effect on the board so that's what you really have to worry about and I know I said I did the top first but what I do is I skip every single one since it's hard for me to get in here with my right hand since there's pins uh, so close to each other so I skip every other column of pins and uh, Blow it off and that looks good. I'm gonna see what the camera looks like. Up. I'm hoping my hand doesn't get in the way. If it does, I'm sorry. I just want to do the best job as I can. No, I'll probably use a little bit more. And that just went all to the tip. That's why you want to hit the other side of the pad. Because uh, the solder will move towards the heat. And so if you're doing it directly to the tip, unless you put a huge ball on it until it falls onto the pad, which can cause a cold joint very easily, um, it'll just go straight to the tip. So that's why you want to avoid uh, contact straight with the tip. You want to hit the other side of the pin. And I'm pretty much all out of solder. And 
and those look pretty good. So I'm going to rotate the board just like this and I'm going to hit my other pins. And I'm starting to get uh, shot with uh, flux. I'm really getting close to burning my hand here. Alright, and that's as far as I'm going to go. I can feel the heat through the solder. So, um, I'm going to throw this away real quick. I got my final package of solder here. <clears throat> it up. Flip this board over. Actually, I'll just do the ones I need to do on this side. That one went straight to the tip of the solder, soldering iron, I should say. So I just want to wipe that off. And it did it again. Um, so usually when that happens, I just put some more solder on it, twirl this around, and then flick it. I can smell the, I think there's a piece of sponge on there too. Um, I don't like how this cord, remove that cord. Alright. I'm going to let it heat up again. Alright, it should be good. There we go. And you're going to need to do that every once in a while. Um, Usually uh, the tip of the soldering iron will fill up with too much uh, solder. And I really don't know the complete science of it, but basically I just clean it every few minutes and it starts to work better again. And it's just going right away. I'm flying through these. Alright, I'm just gonna check my joints. Just 
finish these last two here at the end. This one looks like a cold joint. And, yep. So here's basically my first mistake on these boards. Um, there's a bridge here. I don't know if you can see. Um, it's not zoomed in the greatest. But there's a bridge on that pin. So what I'm gonna have to do is uh, take my uh, desoldering gun, or not desoldering gun, but the vacuum, and uh, vacuum that up. Um, but this is where I'm gonna end the video.